Burke. So two changes. Benny Dunn and Van Burke. Second half gets underway. If you see one change in Kilkenny, it's Colin Fennelly is now wearing jersey number 32. Well, goals have decided the last two All-Ireland finals, only one so far. Five points between the teams at the start of the second half. What do you make of those two changes? Yeah, well, first of all, I see Parik Maher has switched wings over onto Henry Shefflin. Uh, he's, he started second half at right half forward. And, you know, it's early enough to be making changes. There's three tip subs on the field already um, just at the start of the second half. So, you know, they're showing their hand very, very early. Just trying to have a look to see who has uh, been withdrawn. Meanwhile, it's Patrick Bonner Maher who has that swept away from him by Tommy Welch. Still, the pressure is on. JJ Delaney with a little clearance, but out over the sideline. And the players who've uh, with, been withdrawn now are Shane McGrath and also Seamus Callanan. So nine and ten gone for Tipperary. So it's all or nothing almost at this stage for Declan Ryan, only five points behind. How a goal would uh, energise their challenge greatly. Right now it's a line ball, Noel McGrath standing over this one. Goalkeeper saves. Patrick Bonner-Maher came in with the challenge. And David Herity has had a very good first championship season, but he's given the ball away there to Owen Kelly. And Kelly can plant it back in here, maybe with a little bit of help. Into Bonner-Maher once again, the little hand pass intended there for Pa Burke. Didn't reach him, it reaches Michael Rice instead. And Rice takes off in determined fashion. Hand passing it out as far as Richie Power. Swept way down the field beyond Owen Larkin. Brendan Cummins, last line of defence, first point of attack. Big one up towards the attack once again, and this time it's taken by Paul Murphy. Murphy for Kilkenny, down towards Larkin, two against one there, coming across Michael Cahill, covering very neatly. Send on there for Porik Mahara, goes to ground rather easily. Michael Fennelly comes in, the goal scorer after 35 minutes. Hand passing it towards Larkin, looking to reach a support player. Doesn't reach him because Kilkenny get lots and lots of bodies, or Tip gets lots of bodies back, and Michael Cahill gets it away from the Kilkenny man. Off it comes towards Pa Burke. Can he fire over the first point of the second half? He's gone for it, but he's missed it. Yeah, and a wrong option there. Bonner Maher was uh, gone into about 20 yards of space just inside him. And a, ba a bad option there by Pa Burke. And I see Paul Murphy has stayed at wing back, uh, <coughs> Judge Laney over at right corner back now, uh, picking up John O'Brien and, you know, very interesting tactics, I think, by Brian Cody today that uh, he trusted Paul Murphy playing the, on the half-back line and, uh, and man-marking job right throughout the whole, the whole back line. That's popped out deep into the temporary half of the field. Once again, it is Richie Parr advancing, stopped in his tracks. Out comes Paddy Stapleton, looks over his shoulder. 45 metres out now from his own goal, kicking it forward towards Bonner Marr. Runs on. Patrick Bonnermar now, the 21-year-old from Lora. Going back to make a better angle for himself. Picking out Benny Dunn here, the second half substitute. And Benny Dunn has forced it inside the right-hand post and puts it over the bar. Good start to the second half. Benny now trying to rally the troops, trying to get the Kilkenny team and fans going like they haven't got going so far in this match. Only one point from play in the first half by the forwards. Well, Benny's got in. And he's made a difference. 1-8 to 7 points. David Herity pocking it out. Down towards Henry Shefflin. Being marked now by Porik Maher. Maher again on the ground. Referee allowing play to continue to see what develops. It comes out towards Benny Dunn again. Benny Dunn this time leaves it behind Henry Shefflin. Tries to flick it up to himself. Surrounded by tip players and the referee blows his whistle. And will end the uncertainty. This time it's Henry from the throw, taking it from Benny, taking it into his hands and hitting it neatly over the bar. <laughs> Missed a few chances in the first half, but he's now got four points, Henry Shefflin. Two of them from play. Yeah, that's a great score, George. Henry showing all his strength and, you know, great pick-up, hurl broken off, man, didn't bother him, straight over the bar. Great score by Henry. Covering at the back here is Tommy Welch. Again, it's Patrick Barr, starting much better in the second half. Flipped away from him, and that's going to be a 65. JJ Delaney got in there, neat challenge to flick it away from Patrick Bonner-Marr. 
nicknamed after the great Cormac Bonner, who was uh, himself nicknamed the Viking back yeah. in the uh, late 80s. That's great time and there. JJ Delaney, you know, maybe talk of his pace being gone, but he, he easily covered the ground and you just watch his time in there. He waited for Bonnermacher to play the ball. Uh, no panic, didn't foul him and flicked away the ball for a 65. No panic being shown by players anywhere at this stage because it's all to play for. Well, a lovely sunny afternoon at this stage at Croke Park in front of over 81,000. Owen Kelly with four points from the first half. Looking to put over his fifth. This to put just four points between the teams. And that's well over. Doesn't miss those. So now it's 1-9, two eight points. 12 yeah, points to eight. The last day against Dublin, uh, Tip got 365s in the second half and Owen Kelly scored a three of them, had a big impact on the result. And I think we're going to see Tipperary running at Kilkenny a lot more in the second half. You see Bonner every the two balls he's got since half-time he's taken on Tommy Walsh. And that time it's the half-backs of Tipperary who did well. O'Mahony flipped away eventually up there to the full forward line but this time the Kilkenny half-backs as they were doing in the first half doing really well Tommy Walsh across towards Henry Shefflin the usual routine Forig Maher over there to try and stop that constant source for Kilkenny and tip do well but then almost lose it in midfield in the end Maher again comes across here oh, careless use of the hand pass it was indiscriminate and it's gone towards Eddie Brennan Flicked it outside there towards Michael Rice, dropped it, in came Brendan Maher. First half sub is hooked well, really well that time. Colin Fennelly, now number 32, striking it off his left from a huge distance out. It'll be a great point, it is a great score. Colin Fennelly, who's got pace, guile and subtlety, and he's now got his first point in this All-Ireland final, his first time to start a decider. 110, 28 points. Yeah, Jeremy, we saw why he saw him part Kenny. You know, I said it all week. If he was missing, it'd be a huge loss because he has that pace that maybe some of the other Kenny forwards don't have at this stage. Brilliant hook and a brilliant strike. You know, if he hit it wide, he'd have to run after him for a great score. That's beautifully in there, but it wasn't contained. And instead, it is Kilkenny who get it out. Nice little hand pass by Noel Hickey. Out to a centre-half back and captain Brian Hogan. Down into the forwards to Larkin. Dished off quickly as far as Hogan. That's Richie Hogan. And he's put it to the left. Missed opportunity. One point for Richie Hogan that early in the match. So a five-point game. Tip fans hoping their side can really put on a big spurt now during the second half. They started promisingly. Brendan Cummins puck out towards Benny Dunn. Bonnermar there, challenged. Breaks out. JJ Delaney flicking it out. Out to Eddie Brennan. Head down. Little hand pass outside as far as Richie Power. Striking it from the 45 metre line. He's happy. Jumps for joy. Why not? It's gone over the bar. It's his second point of the All Ireland final. And it's now 1 11, 2 8 points. Suddenly, Kilkenny by six. Yeah, and you'd have to say the selection of um, Eddie Brennan. You know, people saying during the week Eddie hadn't played all year, it hadn't started, but had played every league match. I think people forgot that he was in great shape and he's having a super game. And JJ Delaney since half time, I think that's four times the ball has gone down his wing and four times he's won it on a few great possessions. Brendan Maher now trying to steady things at half back for Tipperary, trying to launch a few decent attacks. Again, denied by the consistency of Kilkenny's full back line this year. No. Hickey trying to get it away, first time wasn't the greatest of hand passes. Pa Burke now trying to play Kilkenny into some difficulty, trying to play it back to Noel McGrath. Oh, he was off balance, he was hitting that one. Drops in, however, Marr went for it, but it comes back out to Brian Hogan of Kilkenny. Slipped out to Michael Rice, and Rice a huge clearance, way down. Lots of Tipperary backs there. Colin Fennelly challenging for it. Porrick Marr leaves it behind to Richie Power, and Power is fouled, and it's going to be a free from just around the 45-metre line. Lar Corbett's in trouble with an injury. And Lar Corbett hasn't had the best of finals so far. Should have come into this final, really, playing with a fine high reservoir of confidence after his performance this year and last. Got more goals this year than last year, but he's OK. Yeah, Jerry, maybe it's a bit early to start talking about it, but um, before last year's final, a lot of talk about Henry Shefton winning his eighth All-Ireland medal and Eddie Brennan as well. And 
you know, they've gone seven points up now and uh, they're really looking so strong all over the field. All this talk, maybe, and I was included myself, I thought that Tipperary uh, younger legs would tell, but they, if they're going to get back into this game, they need some leadership up front. Noel McGrath's not on his game. Uh, Parbrook hasn't done anything since half-time. Owen Kelly getting no possession and Lark Harbert, as you say, completely out of the game. So you'd wonder where the scores are going to come from. And Tip wondering if they can get back into this match in a very meaningful way. John O'Brien across here, as far as Conor O'Mahony, trying to give leadership. Referee says, play on. He does. Strikes off his left, high and over the bar. That's what you're looking for. Sharp, decisive play from a wonderful centre-half back from Newport, 26-year-old Conor O'Mahony. This was a lovely catch, taken beautifully by John O'Brien, then fed off and completed superbly by Conor O'Mahony. That's a bit more like it. It's back to a six-point game once again. Yeah, and you're after 45 minutes, one point from play from the tip forwards, that's Noel McGrath, uh, whereas uh, Kilkenny have eight points from play, and, uh, you know, from their forward line, and, and they're well on top. None of the tip forwards in the game at this stage. Brendan Morris' hand pass was intercepted there. Ends up with Michael Rice getting it out here, Henry Shefflin, and it was Eddie Brennan trying to feed it in. Back out it comes once again here. Pressure on the Kilkenny backs. Noel Hickey facing his own goal, trying to get that ball up onto his stick. Didn't succeed, comes out to Marr. Bonner Marr this time, coming in at the angle. It's very awkward, running into Stern. Strong Kilkenny defence there. Brian Hogan trying to block his way. JJ Delaney as well, but it's Bonner Marr again, trying to kick it anyway. We'll do this, trying to get it. Linking up with a, a colleague. Runs away, however, all the way as far as Jackie Tyrrell. Tyrrell shouldered again by a very willing Patrick Marr. And the referee has blown his whistle. Jackie Tyrrell is fairly well fired up. He thought he was getting a free out. It's not going to be that way. I don't know what the signal was. was it? He certainly was convinced that he was going to get a free out. As he was jumping for joy, as you could see, and then looked around disconsolately. I don't. Hard to follow that one? I did see unless I think the signal was maybe that he caught that he, he uh, handed the ball three times. Maybe he did. But Owen Kelly to take it anyway. Five from six frees so far for Kelly. That's the angle that confronts him. And it's over. And Tip need everything. They're not out on the hunt by any means. It's 112 to 10 points. Yeah, that's it. That that free has not been greeted well by the Kilkenny uh, supporters and you know you hope it won't come down to a one-point game but it was hard to see a free there. Well it was puzzling. David Herity pucks it out anyway. Sun in the eyes of defenders and forwards at this stage. Patrick Marr was coming across, he was caught. And the referee is in straight away here as Porik Maher gets himself off the ground somewhat gingerly. It'll be uh, free to Tipperary. Some of you, any of you have joined us later and I wonder why the referee's got a bandaged nose. He was struck accidentally in the first half. Play was held up for five minutes while he received attention. Conor O'Mahony has got a point from play, ready to hit this one inside his own 45-metre line. Not bringing Brendan Cummins out to hit it. It's going to drop short, around 20 metres from the target, maybe even further in. John O'Brien went up for it, comes out here as far as Tommy Walsh once again. Again, very clever use of possession, flicking it out to Michael Rice. Nothing hurried at all, everything's measured, and Colin Fennelly races forward, slips the little hand pass into a determined Eddie Brennan. Off he goes, like he's running in Shelburne Park. Hand pass across to Hogan. What a goal! That is quite superb! That's hurling for you! Hurling of the very best! And it's a second Kilkenny goal. It's a goal for Richie Hogan coming at the 49th minute. His fourth time to score a goal in the championship. They've all been